What are your what are your what's your reaction and uh, just your thoughts on Derrick Rose's career in general? Okay, um, Derrick Rose had a phenomenal NBA career. Yes. Okay. He is a NBA MVP, the youngest NBA MVP of all in time league history. He's yep. twenty two years old. He's a multi time All Star, and he is the biggest what if player. In NBA history as well. So there's a lot of things about Derrick Rose to, you know, to, you know, be happy about, you know, because he's, he's, a, he's a great player. Yeah. And I understand the fans when they say he would have been the greatest point guard to ever play if this, if that, whatever. Yeah. But the facts are the facts. Things happen. Unfortunate things have happened. And it ends up he's simply just not that guy. <laughs> Someone cut his mic. My He's gosh. not that guy. Listen, listen. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you who is that guy. Okay. Uh, right. Antoine, what are, Antoine, what are your thoughts? Um, tell us about Derek Rose. I think the first thing also that comes to our mind is when um, we think of players, that the greatest players who haven't won a championship, Rose is now on that list. Um, so we have another name to that list of players who haven't won a championship that are greats. I wouldn't say he's the best. He's in there. But now. I would say he could be up there. But, you know, I wouldn't put him in the same category as Harden, Charles Barkley. I don't think I can. Uh, I think he's just below a tier. I think he's a tier below that. Absolutely. Right. I think he's multi Because think about it. Harden, Derek Rose didn't make the NBA 75. Harden and Barkley both did. So I would put Rose top 100. I mean, that's no. very different from top 75 still. Yeah. But... Continue. Um, just yeah, very sad. Um, great player, great Nick. Wish it would have worked out more. Not with that him. good of a Nick. He was like, he was decent. No, average of course, sixteen points. Better ball. He played with one of my favorite players, Carlos Boozer. Love that team. It was him, Joe Kim Noah, Booz, Kirk Heinrich, Luol Deng. It's a real starting five right That there. was a fun lineup. That's a real starting five. It's like five. basketball heritage mm -hmm. for our generation, um, at least. I feel like I'm forgetting some other guys. Luol Deng. Um, you already said Luol Deng. But those, yeah. that's a starting five. It was yeah, just that's them. a starting five. Um, that was like back in like early 2000s. No. It was like... It was like yeah. So early 2010s. Yeah. It was like, oh, 2010s. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah, like yeah, late so 2000s that. transition to um, the 2010s. Yeah. Boozer, one of my favorite players. Loved watching that team. Joe Noah was future Nick. That turned out to be awful. But um, back to Rose, that team, they made the NBA interesting during that time because of Rose being there, of course. Was Tibbs the coach or was it Phil Jackson? It was no. Tibbs. Was Tibbs. Definitely not Phil, Phil Jackson. Jackson. Definitely not Phil Jackson. I'm thinking Nick's Phil Jackson. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I had, um, I, I think the first merch I ever bought of, like, an NBA player was D. Rose. I got his, like, little hoodie sweatshirt when he, <laughs> first, when he got his first uh, contract, I think, with Under Armour. I think it was Under Armour. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, one of my favorite players uh, growing up. He's one of the reasons why I got into basketball. Wasn't a Bulls fan, just was a Derrick Rose fan. No, he's definitely a Bulls fan. Back in the day, probably. <laughs> but um, yeah, because Carl Boozer was there. Doy. Fake Knicks fan right there. Fake Knicks fan. Yeah. And Tibbs, I cannot be a Bulls fan because Tibbs. Anyway. Continue. Um. But yeah, it's just another, I mean, this, this person didn't pass away like Matumbo, but even regardless, a guy leaving the game who we're not going to see play anymore uh, is sad. I mean, it wasn't like we were seeing him much on the court. You know, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. He's we're, been averaging three points for the past three seasons. He's like, averaging more than you. That's we, going okay, to okay. All right, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> we're going to get into Jesus talking a little bit, actually, so this is actually pretty Wait. Cool. <laughs> okay well we'll get into it we're in gonna get into some jesus talk this is for you but, okay after this okay but um d rose is a player that will be remembered for his prime not for the 2020s okay yeah but the he yeah. did a, the the one post the one post prime moment he had was obviously that 50 point game for minnesota he was, he was Timberwolf. yeah it was cute <laughs> That was before. There's Ant? so many trash NBA players that got 50 point games. And he's not, but yeah. he's not trash. At that point in his career, he was garbage. No. Let's just be real. He was he was, he was going washed. based off, off his name, just like how Russ isn't he, as good as he was he, he before. Was it's kind of like that. This is wild. He was washed, probably. Yeah, he's washed. And he let his hair grow out too long, probably. Okay, we're not talking about his yeah, hair. Yeah, let's just, yeah. No, but, um, but, but seriously, though, Rose is a great player. Yeah. Okay, Rose is a great player. I'm not denying that at all. All I'm saying is. 
he, I, I just feel, this is my narrative, okay? I'm going to push it. <laughs> I'm pushing my narrative. I just feel that Derrick Rose gets, a, gets too much, he gets too much credit. I don't know. Listen, I don't know why. The comments always flame us for not drafting Rose in it's any probably, of draft. It's probably because he got injured. And there's so many yeah. s- people that have sympathy that wish he would have been better that that sympathy turned into an elevated view of Derrick Rose when he was in his prime. I think it's And because, I think that's I think it's because, unearned. I think it's because you're salty because not a lot of people show no. love to Russ. No. <laughs> it's definitely. So, not wait. Salty. It's definitely I'm salty. not salty. It's so, definitely salty. Okay. It's so fake love. <laughs> okay. Would, so... He's okay. a likable player. I was going to say a player that's on a similar trajectory with injuries that gets love already and doesn't get hate, and that's Clay Thompson. But Clay and Derrick Rose nah, are but on Clay, a different level. Clay's a four time champion. Exactly. That's uh, why I said it's. There's no, com- there's no player, I think, comparable to, to Derrick Rose. Mm. But let me read you through before we move on. Let me uh, read you through his resume in the NBA. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously, he was drafted first overall in 2008. Um, the youngest MVP, as we mentioned before, in NBA history. It was Which I don't think he deserved, but keep going. It was his third season in the league, too, so that was pretty impressive. Um, three-time All-Star, one-time All-NBA, made first team that year. Uh, he was Rookie of the Year in 2009. Um, obviously, tore his ACL in the 2012 playoffs. Um, he averaged 17 points, three rebounds, five assists on career shooting splits of 46, 32, and 83. So just wasn't that a good, good at all. Wasn't a good three point shooter, but was decent from the line. Was pretty average, pretty good average from the field. You know, it's really like the elite players shoot above fifty, but obviously he's a point guard, so the shots are going to be a lot tougher. Yeah. Um, obviously, um, career high in the regular season, fifty points. Career high in the playoffs, forty four points. Um, should be should be first ballot Hall of Famer, right? Yes. He'll make the Hall of Fame. I just don't know if it'll be on the first try. But my guess is yes. Um, just because of his elevated name, then yeah. Yeah. 